Hey, and welcome back to my Stardew Valley 1.4 uh, min max guide. Uh, today we are going through as promised with days 9 and 10 and their fishing days. So, I mean, what can I say about the fishing that I haven't already covered? Um, right here, we're saving some fish for um, the bundles. We could probably do this later, but uh, since I have them here, why not? Um, and today, we do need that money. I keep saying money. Um, it's gold. Sardu Valley, their currency is gold. Um, so we do need the gold to um, drop off, pick up the steel pickaxe and drop it off uh, for the gold version. Um, so we do need $10,000. That means since I passed out last night, um, I will have to sell the fish to Willie's, to Willie when he opens up at nine. But that's not a problem. We can knock out some chores before. And once we do that, it's just a matter of selling the fish, dropping off the pickaxe, and then heading up to the mountain lake to continue to level up our fishing experience. So yeah, I looked into the, the in the last video, I was kind of going over my a, a theory that Red Touch talked about with bait being in chests and it just basically um, putting bait in chests whenever you don't have uh, whatever you need. How, how should I say this correctly? Um, <laughs> uh, it'll replace items in chests if you haven't fulfilled requirements. Um, I looked into it a little more and there's a lot of items, the artifacts in particular, um, you can only fish out an artifact if you've already received an artifact from, you know, digging them up, hoeing them up. So um, the idea here is if you hadn't, haven't found a, an artifact yet, then you won't be able to fish one out. And um, if the game decides you've got an artifact in the chest, it will then re replace it with bait. Um, the other example I used uh, last video was... Um, iridium ore and it's not fishing level it's just how far you have to cast out um, the deeper you cast out you can get things like iridium ore and at um, I believe anything any fishing level below 10 you can't cast out far enough which is why um, let's say the the game decided it was going to give you iridium ore um, if you're not casted out far enough then um, you just won't get it now that I'm saying that out loud, it, it seems like the artifacts uh, um, is, a, is a better example. But anyway, like I said, dropping off the pickaxe. Um, we get to fishing a little late, but tomorrow we'll do more fishing um, and hopefully get to the level 10 fishing. I rarely stop to say hi to anybody, so <laughs> oops. That's a, that's a late game thing for me, right? We can we can do that later. We have a lot of gold to be to to make uh, to prep for summer. So I guess now would be a a good chance to um, ask you guys what you think of this sort of format. You know how fast the videos are sped up or me talking over them. Um, this is a new project for me. And I'm doing it because I, I just love playing Stardew Valley, but also um, it's given me some experience um, in Photoshop. I get to make the thumbnails for the videos and I'm not used to that. Um, I also don't have a lot of uh, video editing experience. Um, I, have a, I have a real job, but that's it's data programming, so it's not um, very relevant to YouTube videos. Uh, so yeah, I'm learning a lot of things. Um, I have a lot of projects, um, real life projects, um, friends, engagements and stuff, um, sorts of videos that I want to be able to edit and, um, give to them. So, um, this is kind of like a, hey, I get to learn while I do something that I like. 
And it also gets, uh, it gives me a chance to kind of uh, test out this setup. I haven't been using it a lot. Um, my goal is to eventually stream some. Um, what content, I don't know yet. Um, I really like casual games like Stardew. Um, I do play, uh, when I can, um, Pokemon competitively. Um, it's called VGC, the Video Game Championships, and um, it's a doubles format. Uh, the game is, you're probably familiar with it, it's Pokemon Sword and Shield right now. Um, I have a buddy, uh, I live in Baltimore, he's up in Jersey, but um, back when Pokemon Go came back out, we decided to get Game Boy separately, or the Nintendo DS, and then we started battling against each other when we found out we both had this nostalgia for, for Pokemon, right? And then that kind of evolved into going to tournaments around the country. So unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time to it's it's a very time consuming game. So um, I do win more than I lose, but I, I don't have any any titles to my name yet. And unfortunately, um, I don't have the opportunity to go to any tournaments uh, currently. But, you know, maybe one day down the line I'll pick that up. All that to say, I think the only video I've even uh, posted on YouTube was just a, a funny video for the, the Pokemon VGC community. Um, kind of imitating some of their content creators. Um, I got a lot of respect for those guys. And um, they... They're also one of the reasons why I wanted to start doing it. It, it just uh, posting YouTube videos. It seems like a, a fun thing to do. And um, especially if you can give back to the community, right? Just make things that pe people like or, or that are helpful. Um, something like this guide, I hope, is going to be helpful. Um, then then that's rewarding. And there's some other um, I know there's a lot of Stardew uh, content creators already told you I'm obsessed with Red Touch, and uh, there was a point, I mean, he was posting videos every day of his playthroughs, and I think they would come up, I'm on the East Coast, and they would come up midnight, and I'd actually just stay up and wait for them to, to be published and, and, and watch those. I really enjoyed those. There's a, a lot bigger names, uh, Dangerously Funny. Um, so, so there is a community around Stardew that I appreciate, and even though it is an older game, um, the 1.4 update, I just felt it, it was a good time to try and get back into it. So. And depending on how this goes, um, I'd be interested. Uh, Concerned Ape has already announced that he is working on a 1.5 update. And I mean, if 1.4 gave us the Desert Trader and all these quality of life improvements... I, I'm, I'm going to be excited for when that comes out. We have no idea when it will be. Um, I'm hoping it'd be something like the end of the year. I mean, that's always good to, at least for Stardew for me, I like to kind of do a playthrough and then put it on the shelf for a while. Kind of let it sit. Um, and then you start missing it again and then, and then you play. I'm also interested in some of the... Uh, the games that inspired Stardew. I mean, I've never played any of the Animal Crossings or Harvest Moons. Um, Terraria also, as far as the mining as aspect, especially for this run, right? Since we're doing like this Skull Cavern style. I um, wonder if I could get a, a group of people. I think I think that's you can play Terraria uh, co-op. I'd love to check that out. If you guys have any recommendations for games, uh, let me know. So Wednesday the 10th, and luckily I, I, I sped this up even further than what I usually do. Um, but I need to tell you that the, the day we just watched, I believe I replayed it. Um, and I, it, I, I want to avoid using glitches or exploits. Uh, I'm not using any, you know, sort of mods on this. Um, but... On occasion, on occasion, if I if I wasn't ha Ooh, excuse me, if I wasn't happy with um, how the run went, or um, you know, I'm really looking for a good look day, or uh, 
a rainy day. Um, I'll sometimes replay the day. Unfortunately, I, 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 I play these and then, right, I edit them and then I'm watching them days, sometimes weeks after the fact. So I don't remember. I'll try and let you guys know um, when I do that. But just know that uh, that does give me a little bit of an advantage um, as opposed to um, a lot of people on mobile or Switch or places where it's either hard or impossible to mod the game or, you know, just um, just back up your save files and, and um, replay them. Um, you know, it, it means that I can kind of I have more leeway. And I want to be upfront with that because I don't want, you know, I want to I want to make sure the expectations are real, and I don't want you to think that I'm I'm trying to deceive you or anything. Um, I said all of that because, and, and I think I, I was kind of zoning out. I wasn't really watching the screen as I was talking um, when this day started. But um, tomorrow is a rainy day, so as long as I get to. Um, level 10 fishing, I can come up here and I can try and catch the legend fish. Um, so I believe when I played through um, the ninth, uh, the first time around, it wasn't, and it, and it wasn't a very hard day to play through anyway, right? We just did some small chores and then it was fishing the entire time. Um, so there was no rain and I kind of thought to myself, well, I'd really like to catch this legend fish. Uh, it's something that Red Touch talks about, and um, I think he does have a rainy day around the same time that I do. Um, he opts for the catfishing because he doesn't want to spend the time. If you don't, you know, hook the legend um, early on in the day, um, then you may actually not profit off of it. Um, this is where my, you know, um, my resetting can also come into play, right? I can... Um, go up to the mountain, and if I don't, uh, I'll put a timer on it, probably something like noon. If I don't catch the, the the legend fish before noon, then I'll just turn off the game, reset, and try again. The legend fish also, um, if I'm not mistaken, has different like activity options. Uh, basically how they move. It's not always the same. And some are harder than others. So I could hook the legend, but it's a very hard pattern and I'm not able to catch him. Um, or I could hook him and it's easier. Right. I like the idea. I, I do enjoy, it, you know, even if I have to reset a couple times for the, for the legend fish, um, I don't mind that because it's, it's more fishing. Um, it's more hard fishing, which is fun. Um, it's just this uh, this mindless grind that gets a little, a little tedious, a little tiring. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought I'd impress record for a second. That would have been the second time I did this. That would have been unfortunate. just pulling up some of the the fishing requirements that I'm looking at so what I was talking about earlier um, there are fishing requirements all of the artifacts require level 2 plus the dress spinner requires level 6 plus all of the uh, artifacts also require that you've already found an artifact um, and the dress spinner you also must cast far from land that's kind of what I was talking about with the iridium ore And this is something I didn't know. I mean, rice shoots are new to the game, but uh, it says you can only catch them in spring and you can't catch them at the beach. There's also the weapons, um, any rings, boots. 
Um, where's the prism or the, uh, I don't see the Iridium Band on here, uh, but all of those things need uh, level 2 plus. You can also fish a Prismatic Shard out, um, starting at level 6 plus, so it's pretty interesting. I don't... Maybe I've... No, I don't think I've fished out a, a Prismatic Shard before. That day... What was it? Day 3 or Day 4? With the Neptune's Glaive and the Iridium Band, that's the best haul I've received from uh, fishing before. <laughs> a lot of fish, a lot of iridium quality fish, right? So this looks like a promising get to level 10 fishing day. Starting to see what I need to bring back. So yeah, like I said earlier, um, let me know what you think of of the video format and and kind of the content. Um, if you have any questions or if if uh, you you have other comments, uh, feel free to leave them. I'll I'll definitely respond. I'm just interested in uh, uh, some feedback. This is fun for me, and this is kind of my first round of video edits, so uh, hopefully it will improve over time. But there we go. Level 10 fishing, and we pick the angler perk. Um, that means that, that selling the fish are worth even more. Looks like we have something like a dozen um, iridium largemouths, bunch of chubs. Those will be great for the mines. Um, so next time on this Stardew run, um, we'll be going for the legend fish and, uh, then, then it's back to the mines. We left it off at level 10 and now we need to just descend as fast as possible to get the skull cavern key. Thanks for watching.